Part four of the jinx. So Robert Durst's wife, Kathy Durst goes missing and here is his account of what happened that night. He said in the morning they went to breakfast and that afternoon Kathy went to her friend Gilberti's for a party. She returned home at about 7.30 and she'd been drinking and insisted she wanted to go to the city. Bob didn't want her to drive so he took her to the train station after they ate a sandwich together. He returned from the train station and had a drink with his neighbors, the mayors and then went for a walk with his dog and called Kathy from a payphone. Kathy was in medical school in New York City, so oftentimes she would be in the city without him. And when she was in the city, she said she was fine and she was watching TV. Dorman reported seeing Kathy and on Monday morning, medical school was called by Kathy saying that she wasn't feeling well and she wouldn't be coming in. But eventually Bob and the school reported her missing reported that Kathy and Bob's fights became more and more physically violent and Kathy's diary entries were even included in the documentary where she talks about how bad they were getting. Kathy was gone without a trace. There was no crime scene, there was no body, so police didn't suspect any foul play even though Bob's story had a lot of holes in it. He never had a drink with his neighbor and he never went for a walk and called Kathy from a payphone. Kathy's best friend, Gilberti, who she'd seen that night, who she'd also told to look into things and if anyone did something to her, it was Bob, wasn't satisfied with the police response to her friend being missing, so she took matters into her own hand with her other friend, Ellen. She rode the train with Kathy's photo asking people if they'd seen Kathy. They went to reservoirs and then they took an extreme measure and stole Bob's garbage. Inside Bob's garbage, they found all of Kathy's medical books, her makeup, her clothing. It became evident to them that Bob knew that Kathy wasn't coming back. And then they found this note written in Bob's handwriting. It says, town dump, bridge, dig, boat, other, shovel, or check car, truck rentals. And as one of Kathy's family members pointed out, why would you need a shovel in February in the Northeast? Kathy's family tried reaching Bob to look for answers and Bob was not responsive. When they finally got a hold of Bob's father, Seymour, he called them in for a meeting, but then Tom, Bob's brother, came in, asked what the meeting was about and abruptly ended it. This wasn't the warm and helpful behavior that you would expect from somebody who just had their daughter-in-law go missing. The, the, the phone, and that puts her in the city and, uh, they're going to leave me alone now. Did you end up speaking to her that night? No. 